We're in Union County. John Davis taking off some beans here, and it's the uh, what is it? The 17th of October. That's pretty close. When were these beans planted, John? Oh Lord, you're asking me something. I might even have to get the book out, <laughs> but I'm guessing somewhere in the oh first into the first week of June, probably somewhere in there, maybe a little bit before that. Nice looking field here. Uh, how many acres are in this particular field, and how much do you have left? Uh, about 230 acres in this field, uh, and we've run about uh, I think about. Oh, 120 of it, something like that. And I know that uh, beans have kind of been the saving grace here this season. I know you tried to take some corn off, and if you wouldn't mind just kind of sharing, I took a little bit off and stopped. The moisture is a little bit too high? Yeah, the moisture is still running high. Unfortunately, that's uh, one of the, basically all of my corn for the most part got planted after June 1st, and that was some of the earlier maturing corn I planted, and it was still testing around 26 to 27. Uh, which was not very encouraging you know this time of year you don't tend to get a lot of good drying days uh, and even when you do the day length is a little bit uh, shorter therefore you don't get quite as many points coming out naturally so at your estimation here early on i know that your employees probably don't want to hear this we're going to be uh, shelling corn christmas time i'm not i hope but, uh, <laughs> i'm sure there will be some people but uh, a lot of it just depends on how good uh, good the days like we have today you know uh, uh, mid 60, high 60 degrees with sun and some wind, uh, it'll help take some of the moisture out. Um, most guys' limiting factor this year is probably going to be their drying capacity at home. Um, so hopefully we can work through that and not be here in December. How much do you think about the markets, John? I mean, just this past week or two, we've seen the prices go down as much as they've come up, even in the last month. Do you think about that as you're running and maybe change your philosophy a little bit? You know, you think about it a lot, and fortunately, with the technology we have today, you know, we get reminders on our phones, we get reminders on emails. Uh, you're never very far from it to where you can at least uh, keep an eye on it. Uh, your own publications and your own um, Ohio Agnet, you know, gives us the opportunity to keep that information close at hand. Thanks to John Davis for letting us ride around shotgun in Union County for CAVCAM. I'm Ty Higgins reporting for the Ohio Agnet.